Hey YouTube, it's Arwen, the professional joy seeker. As you know, one of my joys is tarot. And today I'm going to be doing a long overdue comparison of the Greenwood Tarot and the Wildwood Tarot. Now for those of you who don't know, the Greenwood Tarot by Mark Ryan and Cheska Potter is a hard to find, out of print, super pricey deck. I looked for it for years before I got my hands on my copy. The Wildwood Tarot is Mark Ryan and John Matthews, author, with Will Worthington as the artist. Will Worthington also has done other decks such as the Celtic Lenormand with Chloe McCracken. Now, let's first look at boxes, okay? Greenwood Tarot, big box, right? Pull out cardboard. You can see where it's beat up because as I said, it's old. <laughs> Um, how old is it? Do we have a date on it? No, and I don't know offhand. I think 96, but I'm not sure. Wildwood Tarot, also a box. Pretty much the same size, right? Well, just a tiny bit difference, if you can see. Um, green, which is a tiny bit bigger. But, beautiful box. It's from Sterling Ethos. And it's a 2014, I believe. Uh, again, not on the box. We'll look at the books. When I look at the book, the um, first difference I get is that with the Greenwood, I got this chart. This chart is a Wheel of the Year. It shows us that at Embolk, moving in to the uh, Spring Equinox, we have... I believe the page and knight of wands, the stoat and the fox. This is really nice. I, I'm going to probably hang this up where I can just keep an eye on it. Um, the Greenwood book. Very nice. Quotes. Words. Uh, the difference, main difference here, is the Major Arcana. I'm going to read you the Major Arcana from the Greenwood. I have reordered this to match the Wildwood so we can look card by card. Uh, the reordering of the Majors, not real sure what happened there. Have not read to learn. So the Major Arcana in the Greenwood Tarot is the Fool, the Ancestor who is the Hierophant, the Star as number two, the Archer or Chariot as the third card, Justice is fourth, Lovers is fifth, Temperance is six, then seven and eight are Green Man and Green Woman, Emperor and Empress. The Blasted Oak is listed as the Tower slash the Hanged Man. Ten is Strength. Eleven is Reflection, which they say is related to the Hanged Man. The Wheel is the Wheel of Fortune. The Guardian is the Devil. Card 14 is Death. Fifteen, the Hermit. 16 is Judgment. Then we have 17, the Seer. That's the High Priestess. The star at 2 is in the High Priestess spot, and the High Priestess at 17 is in the star spot. The Moon is 18. The Shaman is 19, and the Shaman is the Magician, normally card 1. The Sun is 20. That's normally card 19. The World Tree, the Universe, is card 21. Now we look at the... Wildwood, and you'll see a definite difference here. All right. The Wildwood book gives you pictures. It's a little colorful. It's a little um, annotated. So those are the main differences in the books. Now let's look at the cards. Because in the cards, what we're talking about is two different artists. Um, both are incredibly talented, but both have very different styles. And I think that's where the biggest change for me, other than the majors, comes in. So first we're going to look at the majors. We're going to look at them side by side. And I'll do Greenwood, Wildwood. Here's the Fool. Again, Greenwood, Wildwood. Coloring, fairly similar. Style, super different. Uh, Fool facing away, fool facing towards. The butterfly is emphasized here. The 
dog is not. So we're going to look next at the shaman, remembering that these are not in the order they were in for the greenwood, right? So greenwood, wildwood. We have shaman. So some very interesting things. He's kind of within a cave of some sort, but his cave is more evident. His cave is uh, his own furs. Interestingly, look down here on his cloth and look on his sides. Making sure I get these back in the right piles. Otherwise, I spend a lot of time moving things around. Now we get the seer, also called the seer in the other deck in the wildwood. This is greenwood, wildwood. Notice the owl here, and notice the owl feathering here. Now, I'm pretty sure Will Worthington was not trying to recreate Jessica Potter's deck. He was recreating his own, but definitely using hers as interpretation, as a nod to the deck that came before. Very respectful to me. I really like how this goes. Right? This is the Empress. So, again, very similar, very... um very respectful, but you can tell they're different styles. Here is the Emperor or the Green Man. Whoops. The Ancestor or the Hierophant. I actually like this one a lot. I really love the colors. I love the, the way you get pulled into it. It's a gorgeous deck. The Lovers. Very similar. We don't have the same um, bird head on the woman as we do on this one. And it's not quite so Egyptian. I really get an Egyptian feel from this. And this goes far more back to the Celtic that I um, personally prefer. The Archer. Both are female. I like that. Both have two dogs. One shooting up, one shooting straight forward. I think that's a pretty telling difference. Another one, strength. Again, we have a very Egyptian influence here, and we don't here. All right, can you see them both? I can't see, so I'm, ah. Uh. The hermit. Yeah, and look for, the, look for the similarities as well as the difference. Both have trees, both have lanterns. A, a hermit without a lantern to me is kind of like, why? Um, <laughs> both have the little wren, which I really like. And here we go to the wheel. Oh, that's the back of that card. Sorry. Okay. Very similar again in the wheel. Lots of, um, nods to the, to each deck. We go to justice. Justice in the wild wood is called the woodward. Okay. Reflection. This is the hangman. This is their version of the hangman. Both called them reflection. And the hangman is about getting perspective, so I can understand why that change was made. The blue heron is in both. The mermaid tail and all and holding the two discs is in both. Now, here's where we have a big difference. The Wildwood calls this one the journey, while Greenwood calls it the guardian. It is death. Some real similarities there still. I Okay, I thought I had that wrong. I thought Yeah, I have that wrong, guys. I'm so sorry. That is not this is the guardian in the Wildwood. I, I screwed that one up. So, whoopsie. 
That must be the devil. Where? Nope, nope, nope. Not sure what's going on here, but this is death and death. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Death and death. Very similar again. Thanks for getting us all screwed up, Arwen. And then we go to... Balance. Oh, I've got them on top of each other. Wow, get me a little off and I am super off. Balance, very similar, right? Now, what I like in this balance is notice what the um, dragons are wrapped around. A tower. A tree of a tower. Back to death. <laughs> Whoopsie. The guardian. Is the guardian in both? That's why I was confused because I knew I'd seen this image. Louise Underhill, a priestess tarot. Uh, she's a UK tarot professional. Uh, somebody I respect greatly and just adore. But she has a, um, she does a lot of work with the Wildwood. That's why I knew that was the Guardian there. The Blasted Oak is the Blasted Oak in both. Again, similar, falling. Both have fire. The star is called the Pole Star in both these. You'll notice that this is a more realistic version. The Wildwood and the Greenwood is a little more tribal in feel. The Moon. And this is the Moon on Water. I'm not sure why that's a different name. Very similar. See the, the, the cow, the birds, the trees. Lots of, of similarity going on there. The Sun is renamed in the Wildwood, the Sun of Life. Then we go to Judgment. Judgment in the Wildwood is called the Great Bear. And the final one is the World Tree. Very similar. So then we're going to look at a couple of cards from the miners. That's my, what I want to look at next. Let me get these cards put together so I don't have them all mushied up. Mush it up. Okay. There are my... Hang on, guys. I've got to find something. Sorry about that. I had uh, covered up the cards I wanted to look at next. Next, what I want to look at are one each from each of the suits. The suits are um, renamed somewhat. Six of arrows. Arrows is the sign, is the air sign, I believe, for both. Oh, no, no, I think I'm off again. No, this is six of swords. It's the right imagery. Sorry, guys. Greenwood. Note the Star of David on here. That's a really interesting choice for this card because of moving from troubled times to better times. And they've given keywords on this transition. I'm not a super fan of decks that um, need to give us, of tarot decks anyway, that need to give us uh, keywords. That's just me. The Queen of Wands here is the hair. In this one, she's called the Queen of Bows. They've matched her up with the arrows to make it bow and arrow. Very similar. The Three of Cups. Joy! Seek joy, y'all. Very similar, right? Same crane, same cups. Not the same exact positioning, but very similar. I, I prefer this one because I love the Triscale. There. And then we go to the last, which is Stones, and it's the same one. This is a big difference. Wren is the Page of Stones. They've changed it to Lynx for the Page of Stones. So very different cards here. However, Lynx makes a little more sense to me than Wren does for a, an Earth card. Uh, an Earth card animal. I don't see the Wren. It's a house Wren or, you know, so yeah, maybe that's why. 
um, but for me it's a stretch so I like both decks uh, visually both appeal to me on a different level so I can't say that one deck's my favorite one deck's not I'll probably work with the Wildwood more uh, and that's simply because of the major being ordered in a way that I'm familiar with but if you're really going to dive into a deck, you'll want to learn it on its own system. So if I were going to use the green wood, I would really dive in and find out what makes it the green wood. What is it? Why did they reorder those? You know, and I'll probably do some reading on it and some research. But I'm really leaning towards selling it. So it may go up on my sale. I've got a big sale cooking up. That's why I've been going through and cleaning out all my, uh, my boxes. You see those boxes? Those are um, six, six boxes full of tarot decks. I've got five up there, and I've got another one over here getting started. So, I know I have a problem. Who knew? But thank you so much for joining me. If you have other decks that you would really like me to look at and talk about and show off or do a side-by-side -side comparison of some decks, let me know. I would love to look into it, okay? So, Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you do have been watching the interviews I've been doing. I've had a lot of fun. I've, I've interviewed some really interesting people. Uh, Real Witches of Orange County's own Jacqueline Dubois is one of them. That'll be coming up. Having a little problem with the, uh, the tape we did, but don't worry. We will get it. It's just going to be a little bit. And I'm always looking for new decks that you want me to review. If you're a deck creator and you want me to review your deck, Message me. I would love to talk to you about it. Seek joy, y'all. Pass it on.